Okay, so now for another quick video about Monster High. This time we are going to be talking briefly about the Monster High Wednesday Adams crossover with the uh, Netflix series. There are three dolls in the line. We have Enid, Wednesday, and Wednesday again, plus a fashion pack as shown right there. So first up we have the Wednesday Adams in her school uniform. The doll looks really nice. The face up looks really well done. I like the freckles. Her shoes, I'm not too thrilled with, or her, I guess boots, technically. Uh, the scorpion's okay, but I don't like the cello. And in all truth, I think what might have been a good way to go would have been to use a guillotine instead. Although I know they're trying to relate this directly to the Netflix series as much as they can. Then we have Wednesday Adams comes with Thing, which also fits in her backpack, by the way. And I want to know if Thing actually attaches to her shoulder somehow, or if this is just you doing a balancing trick. And in which case, I'm kind of wondering if they just kind of taped it in place for the photo. So her packaging looks pretty nice um obviously they're recreating the room that her and enid share we also have the uh rave and dance wednesday doll specifically for the obviously dance scene what's kind of surprising to me is that they left the entire skirt sheer which means uh you can see her pantyhose underneath there and uh if they actually colored in the panties uh, her panties as well. However, they don't. Uh, Mattel just uses that kind of um, physical embossed or debossed kind of thing to show off where the panties would be, which in all truth always reminds me of like uh, genital warts, but that's a whole nother story. That leaves us with the fashion pack, which is actually a Mattel Creations exclusive item. Uh, it's still available to purchase. And uh, just to make note, the two Wednesday Adam dolls that have already sold out on the Mattel Creations website, which is kind of terrible because if you ordered the fashion pack with one of those dolls, you got $5 off as a bundle. Although I'm uh, guessing the fashion pack is not quite as popular as they thought it would be, even though this does give it to give us her in her more traditional outfit which of course comes with her cello, socks, platform wedge sneakers, the basic dress, although realistically you probably shouldn't have all those symbols on it, and a sweatshirt or a hoodie. I am not a big fan of fashion packs. Uh, I'd rather have a doll with it because when you have a fashion pack, if you want to display it on a doll, you have to buy a second doll if you want to have the doll shown as it originally was as well. You know what I mean? Speaking of which, the one time I wish they would have made a fashion pack was with Monster High when Draculaura was in school in Japan for the foreign exchange program. And they had that sailor uniform, which will be pictured right here or probably already is by this point. Because that outfit was really adorable and it would have been great as a fashion pack because then you could have used it on a bunch of the dolls and had a nice uh, Japanese classroom going on. And as the last doll in the set, we get Enid St. Clair. I did see her. I did see her at Walmart yesterday and I did pick her up. My plan is to do a review for her and post that next week. However, to be perfectly honest, I probably wouldn't have bothered with this doll uh, if not for doing the review. They do give her the big stiletto claws, which makes sense for the character. But I have to say the way they sit on the fingers that are kind of merged together, you know, because Monster High did that thing where uh, the two middle fingers are, you know, a single plastic piece. It just looks kind of off. And I'm going to bet that there's going to be a lot of paint issues with that, with her nails being two different colors. 
And of course, the shoes have a bear and a unicorn. Now, as I said, they are sold out on the Metallic Creations website as far as the two versions of Wednesday go. However, there is hope for you. Big Bad Toy Store has the pre-order still open for all three of the dolls, although you are paying an extra $5 per item here. But if you want them bad enough, that's a small price to pay. But wait, there's more. Entertainment Earth also has all three of these dolls available for purchase at the same price as the Mattel Creations website. But I'd also like to remind you, I guess, I did, like I said, I found the Enid doll at Walmart yesterday, so they're probably still putting out the other dolls, and maybe I'll make a quick trip to Walmart today just to see if they do have them in. And finally, if we look on Amazon, uh, there are scalpers already reselling the Wednesday Adam doll on Amazon. I'm sure on eBay also, but I'm not going to bother checking eBay. But looking at this really does make me wish I had managed to get that uh, two pack with Morticia. Because I actually really like those dolls. Actually a little bit better than these ones, to be honest. But alas, I missed out on it. So anyway, let me know. Are you planning on getting these dolls? Uh, are you looking forward to them? But go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Are you looking forward to these dolls? Do you like the looks of them overall? Uh, are you going to get just the Wednesday Adams and leave Enid on the uh, cutting room floor, so to speak? <laughs> Stick her in the kennel? Drop her off at the animal shelter? Uh, sorry, I'm so sorry. And if you enjoyed this video, please, please leave me a like. And go ahead and share with somebody you know. I know I'm not the first place to go for Monster High news, but I do still like the dolls. And I am a fan of the G1 dolls, which these are actually based on the G1 style. In fact, if you looked at the painted high, painted high, painted black fashion pack here, it is designed to fit the G1 Monster High body sculpts only. Although, let's be honest, you could probably force them onto the G2 ones. The uh, G3 ones, probably not so much. Peace and love, everyone. Peace and love.